Director of Development and Communications with the Charlottesville Albemarle SPCA, and we talk about this each week. Always great to go in. My daughter and I went in and visited Saturday with some of the animals. But if you can't make it in, you guys take the, the show on the road on this Saturday, no exception. Yes, we do. So we love for people to come into the shelter, but we also love to go out into the community for our offsite adoption events, which we will be doing this Saturday, and we're really excited about this opportunity. We'll be participating in 231 Fest at Castle Hill Cider. So we're really excited. We'll have our own table there. We'll have a few of our really wonderful adoptable dogs. So if you're looking for something to do, it's going to be a really fun event with food trucks, wine tastings, live music, and of course, we just hope to find all of the animals we take home. And we love the SVCA, but we also love the Blue Ridge Area Food Bank, and some of the money from each ticket sale goes to help them. So yes. it's a win-win-win in this is, case. It is, yes. Um, so that's a chance to get out into the community and visit with some of the adoptable animals, also in the midst of kitten season, and we need fosters. Yes, we do. So we've been talking about kitten season arriving and it has definitely <laughs> arrived. Um, we have dozens and dozens of kittens that are currently in our care. Any day it could be, you know, one kitten arriving or like I said, a dozen kittens with their mom. So we're always looking for kitten fosters. You don't have to be experienced. Our foster team would love to talk to you about what it looks like, whether you are a foster who would ideally like just one or two kittens or a whole mom and litter. Um, they do have to be two months old in order for us to spay or neuter them. So we like to keep them in foster and out of the shelter during that time. And what was there a change in what becomes a priority with the SVCA once summer hits students from UVA leave for the summer and whatnot? Does that change things? Yeah, it does depend just, you know, what kind of animals we're seeing coming in. So, of course, right now that is a lot of kittens. So they've become our priority because they are, you know, so tiny and fragile. And so we have a lot of really young kittens that come in, some kittens that come in without moms. And so they really need that one on one and, you know, constant attention and care. So that's why our fosters are so important. Like you said, without our UVA fosters, it is difficult. So we're looking for anyone who's interested in fostering to join our team. And do, does the UVA community do a good job in supporting? They do. Here? They're awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We miss them when they're gone. <laughs> um, anything else you want to share with us? Any exciting? I, usually we take a look at some pictures, but I know. Well, you know what? Stella and Lunchbox. Let's talk about them. So Stella is one of the amazing dogs at the shelter right now. She is right around six years old and she is just an absolute sweetheart. She mm -hmm. loves snuggles, loves spending her evenings on the sofa, but she also loves being outside. She's kind of that perfect combination, but Whenever you take her out into a park, she's not really interested in playing. She just comes up next to you and nuzzles her head in your lap. She's just so sweet. Um, and then Lunchbox is one of the cats available for adoption, and he is currently in foster right around three years old. And his foster said um, Lunchbox can always be found lounging on the cat tree watching birds when he isn't exploring his environment or playing with his foster brother. Um, so if you're looking to add a wonderful cat to your home, Lunchbox is looking for a family. Lunchbox and Stella, two great options. Emily, appreciate it as always. Of course. Thank right. you so much. Casey?